Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all, but now we are left with just 24 who have made it to these finals en route to Wembley. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has a monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. Off we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man. And he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Keep on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Shoots! Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first. Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top-notch. Portugal take the early advantage. Johnny Evans plays it forward. <laughs> Missed by a fraction. Good idea, just poorly executed. Bruno Fernandes. He's in space and looking for options. He's got away. And the shot! In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising. That was easy. Almost too easy. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been... Obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good Things starting to look very comfortable the turning of the screw comes to mind Peter. They've got them where they want them Lafferty tried to play it through yeah, the idea was right the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. João Cancelo, who does have an assist to his name. He's in! And the finish! Yes! And they're at it again in double quick time! A 
looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Portugal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo, just brushed off the ball there. Loose ball, who's going to get that? And we hit half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but... Semedo looking to get on the end of this. Oh, real danger here! He slid it through. Keeper sees it all the way. Yes. Portugal really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to trying to move the ball around the midfield. They, they lack the sharpness and urgency. Bernardo Silva. And it's played forward. And he should have made it four. Well, I think... Hoists it forward. And he's on a charge. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva has a hit! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. The changes then in quick succession. Johnny Evans tries to get it forward quickly. Pizzi. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Bernardo Silva gets it back. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! He has done it! It is no contest. It is a landslide. A oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. <laughs> Portugal totally rampant here. Part. Has he found his man? Steve Davis plays it long. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Forward it goes. Steve Davis plays it out to the flank. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Semedo attempts a clearance. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. And the referee brings it to a close. 
pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Listen, ideal.